Hey guys, welcome to Foam Test. Today is going to definitely be a uh, more different episode than normal because we aren't going to be dealing with foam. Recently I've gotten this new Eosheen camera. I've taken the protective casing off of it to make it a little bit lighter. And for a while now I've had this older Hubson camera drone. I can't remember the numbers, but oh well. It's just the HD quality one has the camera right here. I did a camera modification tilting it up. It hasn't held up well against the crashes and stuff. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing here today is showing you how to make an FPV quadcopter where you can record video in HD quality. Let's get started. So the materials you're going to need for this are soldering iron, solder, um, quadcopter of your choice, a cam a uh, FPV camera, goggles, you know, FPV equipment, stuff like that, and some plier, some pliers if you need to, you know, just, it's always good to have them around, and probably some sort of razor blade too. Okay guys here, so for the first step of this, we're going to be taking our quadcopter, disassembling it so we can get down to the main board inside, so we can find the solder points to put the camera on to. Another thing you guys are going to need is going to be a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so let's get started taking this apart. It appears to be that there's going to be two screws right here. And the other parts of the legs just pop off. And that's it for the bottom. Okay, and make sure you keep track of these screws because you're going to need them later when you reassemble your Hubson. A little hack that I have is if you have any of these flight test screwdrivers from one of their kits or if you just bought some, the back of the screwdriver, right here, it's a little tight at first but it does pop off to where you have this little container inside your screwdriver and this cap for it. So if you take all your little screws or little Allen tightener things, you know, they're little tiny things that are the size of the Allen heads that are you lose all the time and you can never find if you drop them. If you're similar, if you're familiar with the uh, airplane part or just larger quads part of the uh, hobby, you should know what I'm talking about and you can put it in the comments below because I can't remember it right at this point. But anyway, now that you've got the screws taken out there, this bottom piece pops off. And be careful not to take it off too hard because if you can't tell I ripped off this little lead for the SD card, and now I need to figure out where that is so I could solder it back on. Okay, so now that I have re-soldered that, I'm going to make sure I don't mess with that again, because I don't want to deal with that. But now, it's time for the fun part. You're now going to want to take your razor blade, and take your camera, wherever you want it, where it's not going to be hit by any of the blades. Find a good spot for it, and start making little marks on the edge of the camera area with the razor blade. Try not to move it, but if you do, it's okay. Now, once you get a couple marks showing like the approximate dimensions, then you could start, if you have like something that can hold the razor blade too that works, uh, you'll probably need that for this step. Okay, so now that you have your razor blade in here, you're going to want to move the props away and then just kind of start sawing on the top here on these lines that you made earlier. you have two well seen lines now you're gonna you could either use um, you could use a lighter to heat up this the razor blade or you can use like so let's say your soldering iron which is sitting right over here just 
put the razor blade on there and let it heat up. Okay, so now that you have your hole cut in here with your heated razor blade, you can slowly use this to angle your camera how you'd want it. And then you could use super glue, you could use hot glue, you can use just about anything to secure this onto here. I think I'm going to use some hot glue. So I'm going to plug in the hot glue gun here and glue that on. Okay, so now that my hot glue gun's heated up, I'm just going to put a little, little bit of hot glue underneath there. And now the whole job is making sure it's straight and flat while the hot glue dries. Okay, so now that your camera's glued down, your FPV camera, it's time to go under here and solder on the leads from the camera to the board right here where the power leads go to. The one on the right here is positive. The one on the right here is positive. The one on the left is negative. So red goes to red and black goes to black. And you should all be you should be good. I'm going to solder the negative here first. And also since you have your FPV camera on here, you're gonna want to find something like this and this tape thing, for example, to put your quad on while you solder this so you don't damage the antenna. Basically what I do to solder is I get the tip of the soldering iron, tin it a little bit, and that will melt the solder on the board faster. Soldering this on can be a little tricky. There we go. Got that one. Now it's time for the positive lead on the other end. Ow! If you guys are wondering, hot glue guns are hot. And when you are done with them, you should unplug them. <laughs> thought it was a soldering iron for a second. I don't know. Might leave a blister, might not. Not too sure. Anyway, it's time to solder the uh, positive lead now. There we go. And also in the process of this, I ripped off the point for the negative part of the SD card. Yay. Now I have to solder that on. Those seem to be very easy to um, rip off, so be very careful of these unless you feel like resoldering them back onto the board. Also, as I'm looking at this, there seems to be a great chance for there to be short circuits. So, now that the wires are out of the way of each other, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on them, since hot glue won't short out the circuits and it'll keep them all in place. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I'll find out if it works. <laughs> okay guys, that seems to be it for now. Now I'm just going to put this all back together and see what we got. Don't forget to grab those screws from earlier. And that's it for the build of this. Let's go upstairs and test it. <laughs> 